In this problem, we're going to take a look at how we can solve 4x squared plus x minus 3 equals 0. When we were solving linear equations, such as 2x plus 6 equals 4, we would get the x alone by balancing the equation. However, there's two different x's in this problem that makes getting x alone quite difficult at this point. So instead, we're going to need a new strategy whenever we see an exponent on the x's. This new strategy is going to be based on the zero product rule that says that if we're multiplying two things together and it equals zero, either the first one equals zero or the second one equals zero. So our goal is to get two things multiplied together or factors. This means we need to factor this expression first before we can solve it. Because there's three terms, we'll factor it using the AC method, multiplying to negative 12 and adding to positive 1. The pair of numbers that makes this work are 3 and 4 if the 3 is negative. So we will split up the middle term, the x, into negative 3x plus 4x. We still have the minus 3 at the end, and we still have the 4x squared at the beginning, and it still equals 0. We can now factor this expression by grouping, taking out of the left side x, leaving behind 4x minus 3, and on the right side, positive 1, leaving behind 4x minus 3, and it still equals 0. The 4x minus 3 is the matching binomial factor, and so 4x minus 3 is one factor, the other factor, x plus 1, and it still equals 0. Now that it's factored, we see one thing times another equals 0. If we see one thing times another equals 0, then one of those factors must be 0, either 4x minus 3, equals 0, or the x plus 1 equals 0. And this gives us two equations we can quickly solve, whoops, we can quickly solve for x. Solve the first one by adding 3, 4x equals 3, and dividing by 4, and we get x is equal to 3 fourths. Solve the second one by subtracting 1, and we get x equals negative 1. And we have two solutions for this equation. x is either 3 fourths, or x could be negative 1. Either one makes this a true equation. We found those solutions by first factoring the trinomial, and then because it equals 0, we set each factor equal to zero.